Cool. 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 Nice. 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 Cool. Nice. Cool. Cool. Nice. Cool. Cool. Nice. Cool. Cool. Nice. Cool. Nice. In this question, we are asked to find the number that we add to 430 to give us 580. We can think of this as an addition sentence. 430 plus the missing number is equal to 580. In order to find the missing number in the number sentence, we can draw what is happening on a number line. Right now we have 430 and we need to find out what we need to add to give us 580. In other words, we need to find out how many steps we take to go from 430 to 580 when counting. Since the number line is going up by 10, then we will skip count by 10 from 430 to 580. Let's start counting. 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100, 110, 120, 130, 140, and 150. 
we can see that the missing number must be 150. We might notice that what we really found was the difference between 430 and 580 since we counted how far apart they are. Does this difference ring a bell? It hopefully reminds us of subtraction. This means that we could also find the missing number by subtracting 430 from 580. Notice that the original addition sentence given is equivalent to this subtraction sentence, both of them using the same three numbers, 430, 580, and the missing number. This is because addition and subtraction are inverse operations. We already found that 580 minus 430 is equal to 150, the difference between both numbers. This means that the missing number in the original addition sentence is 150. So we have 430 plus 150 is equal to 580.
Prodigy's advice. Yes! 